Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Shalom. It is Mark the Messenger. We're back with another video. This one's gonna be about after you're done watching this video, guys. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. I should make it under 15 minutes. You're gonna think twice when you lay down in the bed and you want to engage in that website addiction that you have. I'm gonna tell you guys, guys. After I knew this, after um, I departed from evil, which I gained acquired wisdom from departing from evil. The seven things that happen. Now there's there's multiple things that could happen, but I came up with seven things that happen. When you engage in pornography, when you engage in watching websites, guys, the church never told me this. The pastors never told me this. Nobody ever told me this. I had to learn the hard way. I learned the hard way, and I don't want you to learn the hard way. I want you guys to have knowledge and wisdom. So before, and like I said, it's been four years since I watched porn. Knowing that, and knowing all this, put the fear of God in me for me not to watch that. And I know a lot of people have addictions. We all have our own vices. A lot of us struggle with that. And I'm going to tell you guys a solution before I even start this video. I always give people solutions, okay? Put on the Lord Jesus Christ so you won't put no provision of the flesh, okay? And also walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Let's get it. Let's go. Number one, guys, okay? Best believe when you're watching pornography, guys, you're going to be opening doors for demons, okay? You're going to be opening doors for demonic spirits to come in your life to destroy you, or let's say if you have, you're in a marriage, or like you have, you know, your family, it's going to not only destroy you, but also going to destroy your wife and your children. Yes, guys, pornography, it, it ruins marriages, uh, not just marriages, relationships. Maybe you guys are courting each other. It's going to ruin marriage. It's going to ruin uh, relationships. Uh, it's going to just destroy you. Okay. It's going to destroy your soul. So every time you watch porn, guys, think about your, your, your soul, your spirit, just decaying. The more, every time you watch it, you guys have to have a spiritual mind when it comes to understanding these type of things, the spiritual mind, understand that when you're giving into that lust of the flesh, especially stuff like porn, okay, even the Bible says that I will set my, I will not set my eyes upon uh, no wicked thing. Okay, David says that he made a covenant with his eyes. Okay, I think even Job said that too. All right, so once you understand, you're opening doors for demons. Once you understand when it's when you lock your when you lock, close that door when you lock, you know, let's say if you live with your parents, right? Because I used to do this when I was a child. I, I understand how it goes, right? Lock yourself in the room, lock the door, make sure no one's looking, you know, close the lights, right? Get the lotion out, know, get the sock. Let's keep it real. Get the lotion out, know, get the sock, right? No one's looking, no one's looking. Let me get it off real quick. No, guys. No one might be in, in that in that room or whatever you're at, in that area. No one, no physical being, but a spirit is watching you, just gaining your energy through like a demonic entity, okay? A demon, okay? Watching you and, and feeding off your energy. Okay, so you th you might not think no one's there in the physical room, but in the spiritual room, there's a demon watching, okay, and waiting, and begging you, yes, do it, do it. Best believe it, guys. You're opening doors for demons when you engage in that type of stuff. So always understand that. Keep that in mind. You're not alone when you're watching that. There's demons, guys. There's demons watching. Also, I want to say this too before I go with number. Oh, let's talk about number two real quick then. Soul ties with the opposite gender. You got to understand when you're watching pornography. You're not only, say if you're a man, you're not only watching the girl, you're watching the dude too. You're watching, <laughs> you are, you, <laughs> you're watching the guy pee pee. Okay. You're watching that. So you're, you're going to get a soul tie with not only the female star, but also the male soul, uh, male star too. Okay. That is just demonic. And also like a, the LG doo -doo 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 -doo, spirit might jump on your body too. When you're engaged in that type of stuff. Okay. Always understand that. Also guys. Porn is so demonic. Satan, he knows what he's doing. You have some of these porn stars who are females who are actually men. Okay, they get the, the surgeries, the BBLs, the surgery, and you, you're actually watching a man, which is disguised as a woman, and you're beating yourself off to that. Okay, you got to understand, this is spiritual warfare. Satan is setting it up. That's why, you know, it's different. Like, back in the days, like in the 80s and 70s, now I wasn't born at that time. I'm just going off a graph. Uh, that there was less people who were LG, do, 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 do. Now there's more people. Now I believe that pornography has, a, a, you know, a reason behind it. Now, of course, it's not just that, but one of the main reasons why that's increasing. Okay, now there's a whole bunch of other programs, but one of the main reasons why, guys, is pornography. You think that you're just watching a female. You think, and now you're getting a soul type of. No, that's how when you would watch porn, right? You will, you will type in one Pacific porn star. Okay, you, you don't care about, the, and you can't feel, you don't feel anything unless you're watching that one. Let's best believe it. You have now gain a soul tower if you're a female you're a female right um and you have a soul tower maybe with a with a guy okay or let's say like you know you, you think that you're just watching the guy but you know you're watching the girl too so you know um i don't want to say i don't want to trigger anything but like an lg spirit could jump on you guys i'm telling you this is a spiritual warfare 
you'll have a soul tie with the opposite gender, okay, through that porn star, okay? And also understand that just, you, like I'm telling you guys, you think you're just watching, you know, like I say for, because I'm a man, so I'm just thinking of my experiences. You think you're just watching, um, you think you're just watching a female, you know, get it off. But no, you're watching a man do that thing too, guys, and thoughts can linger in your mind. I'm telling you guys, this is demonic, okay? So always understand that. And this too, like once I realized, like I'm watching another, this is how I stopped. Now, of course, the spirit of Christ, you know, definitely delivered me. But once I realized, like I'm watching another man have intercourse with a woman, like I could be doing that. Why would I watch another and me in the couch cucking myself? That that let me stop watching porn, guys. That's one of the main reasons why I stopped watching. Like I respect myself, bro. I value myself. I'm not watching another man have sex with another female, and I'm getting myself off to that. Like I, I just can't. To me, that's that's, that's simp energy. Okay, and that goes off with number four. I'm gonna go with number four. Okay, but number three. Okay. You're feeding the flesh, which leads to death. Okay, the Bible even says, I'll leave a verse right here in James chapter 1, verse 13 to 15. It says that when uh, lust, can, can lust brings forth sin, and then sin brings forth death. When you're watching porn, it's going to bring forth spiritual death. Okay, and now it manifests in the physical realm. Now your energy is low. You feel more drained. Yes, yeah, so come on, guys. I'm telling you guys, it's best to be celibate. It's best to stay on semen retention. Uh, or if you're married, you know, it's best to be on no fat. Okay, I'm telling you guys. That's what porn does, guys. It feeds your flesh. Now, of course, not just only porn, but that's, you know, that's what it does. It feeds your flesh, which the more you keep on feeding your flesh, it's going to lead to, you know, death. The way you just sin is death. So always understand that. This verse right here put the fear of God in me too. Many verses put the fear of God in me, but James chapter 1, verse 13 to 15, definitely put the fear in me. I don't want to be dead, guys. I don't want to be spiritually dead. I don't want to be my energy drained. I don't want to have to rely on Red Bull and monster drinks and coffee to get energy. I want to be natural, natural energy. You know, my, you know, spirit being fired up and feeling good, feeling great. Having that glow. Woo! Having that glow, okay? When your energy's drained, when you're just wasting your seed, wasting your testosterone, wasting your energy, you could, it's going to be drained, guys. I, I lived it. I know, speaking from my, from my experiences, I know how that is, man. Okay? Number four, which kind of cor correlates to number two. It effeminizes a man and makes a woman masculine. You guys notice, like, back in the days, like, you look at pictures, the man, look, they look more masculine, they look more, you know, strong and, you know, more manly. You know, they were more in the image of God. The woman, back then, you know, very submissive, very feminine, you know, very sweet, you know, you know like, you know, like, more loving, more loving. Now, nowadays, these women got pride in their face, all arrogant. These, these men out here look weak, like, low testosterone. Now, like, it's not only porn, there's many things, food, the drugs, people, and you guys don't understand, you know. Especially not just with, of course, pills and stuff like that and lean and all that. But when you smoke weed, okay, it's even proven study. You can look this up yourself. They tested it on frogs and the, and the male frogs became like females. You can go look this up yourself. Okay, weed, smoking weed, it lowers your testosterone and it effeminizes you. So that's not only, it's not only porn, but porn definitely does effeminize you too. Okay, definitely. Like I said, you're watching another man. Think about it guys logically, right? You're watching another man have sex with another woman. Like you could be doing that with your wife. Or if you're a female, you could be doing that with your husband. Why Why are you watching, you know, and now, of course, you got to wait on God for God to send you your husband or your wife. But it just makes no sense to me to be doing that, you know. And all and there's no benefits. There's zero benefits when watching porn. Zero. There's no benefits at all. You have people saying, oh, it makes me feel. Now, of course, if you're living in the flesh, when, when, you, when you're spiritually dead, of course, you'll, you'll say there's benefits. It makes you feel good. You know, it's pleasure. Even the Bible says that he who loves pleasure shall not be rich. That, that'll be poor. Okay, so always understand that it makes a man weak and it makes a woman masculine. I mean, just look at the look at society, guys. Go outside and look. Okay, no matter where you're at, and well, I'm not sure about the other countries, but in, in America, over here in America, guys, look around. You could see that people are plagued with certain spirits. The spiritual man judges all things. Okay, number five is opening the opening the ooh ooh opening the gates of Satan's kingdom, bro. Yes. You're opening them. Like I said, guys, number one, you're not only opening doors for demons, you're opening the gates for Satan's kingdom. Okay, let's say if you're trying to walk that narrow path. Now, this is, can only affect those guys who are chosen or those who are being called or those who are trying to walk that righteous path. Those who are trying to have, you know, Jesus in their life and, you know, get that internal salvation through Christ, walk that narrow gate, which only few find. Okay, um, this can only affect them. Those who are not, Satan doesn't care about the people who are who aren't trying to fight their sin who aren't trying to like live righteous lives so he, he, he doesn't care about those people he cares about the people who are trying to you know do right do good you know even though a lot of us myself included we struggle we make mistakes no one's perfect 
But he's not looking for the people who are not trying to get, you know, stop the porn addiction, who are not trying to stop living in lust. He's not, he doesn't care about them. He already has them. Okay. He's attacking those who are trying to rock that, uh, that narrow path. So you're going to open the gates of Satan's kingdom when you engage, when you, when you engage in porn. I'm telling you guys, once you realize that, especially me being a teacher, okay, especially me exposing Satan's kingdom, exposing the minion, exposing these agents, which I'm going to go with the next one, um, uh, setting the captives free, breaking them free from uh, any demonic addictions, right? You know, if I were to be watching porn, oh, Satan's kingdoms with a, this is going to destroy me. Okay, so not just with me either, but also anyone who's trying to walk that righteous path, anyone who's trying to walk that narrow gate, porn will be your downfall, guys. It will be your downfall. Like I said, the solution is Jesus Christ. Your solution is walking in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Your solution is semen retention. Even one of my subscribers left a comment. I'm hopefully I can find his comment later right here. So it's a verse in the Apocrypha that says that an idle mind. Uh, leaves a soft softness or an, I talked about it. I don't mind. I'm not sure exactly. Hopefully I can leave it right here. And that is true. Okay. Even my experiences when I was younger, um, every time I gave into my sexual urges, it was because I was idle. I wasn't busy. I wasn't doing something. I was just like, kind of just on the couch all day. You know, I wasn't really out, um, you know, playing, maybe playing video games all day. And there's nothing wrong with playing video games, but to have a balance. You don't want to be, you know, on that every day. You want to be like working, doing something, going to the gym, exercising, reading books, you know, being, staying busy, staying busy. A lot of it, a lot of us guys, when we fall into like porn and masturbating and stuff like that, or fornication is because we, we were busy. We were idle. We we're just, you know, um, not really not on a man. You got to be on your purpose. Now, of course, this also applies for women too. So women got to be on your purpose too, but especially as a man, you got to be on your purpose. And everyone that's watching this video that made it this far, you got to be seeking God's kingdom first and his righteousness. Okay. And when, when you're doing that, you're going to have a purpose. Okay. When you're doing the will of God, which is for man and woman, you'll have a purpose in life. You're doing the will of God. You're fighting against the flesh, denying yourself, doing the best you can. Maybe you got to pray. Maybe you got to fast. That's a work. That's discipline. Prayer and fasting is discipline. Okay. To be disciple of Christ requires discipline. All right, so always understand that you're opening the gates of Satan's kingdom when you're trying to walk that righteous path, when you're trying to, you know, go straight. And, uh, you know, you got to understand that. Let's say if you do want to get married, right? Let's say if you want to get a wife, you want a husband, and you're still watching porn, Satan can send agents. Ooh, yep. Satan can send agents your way, counterfeits, tears, children of the wicked one, children of Satan, your way to deceive you. And you're watching porn. And remember porn, when you're watching porn, you're, you're living in lust. You're what you're walking in the flesh. So it's going to be harder for you having your discernment. It's going to be harder for you to discern who's, who's sent from God or who's sent from the devil, the enemy. Okay. It'll be harder. So always understand that Satan's going to send agents. He's going to attack a weak point in your life. He's going to send someone disguised as a Christian because when Satan just, when, when you're on that righteous path, Satan knows you're wise. You have, you, God gave you wisdom. He's not going to send someone who's a Satanist. He's not going to send someone who's an unbeliever, an infidel. No, he's going to send someone uh, disguised as a Christian, dis disguised as a Hebrew Israelite, you know, disguised as a, a the light. Because Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So always understand that, you know, I would recommend, guys, if you have any demonic addictions, um, just, you know, before you want to get your wife or your husband, make sure you cleanse yourself from that first before you get it. Because just because you get married, remember the lust is never satisfied. Your flesh is never satisfied. So just because you get married, that's not going to just, okay, I'm not going to watch porn anymore. You know, that no, doesn't work like that. Okay. It does not work like that. You got to get, be free from all the soul ties you have with any porn star or any of that. I hate to even say that word, but that's what they are. I mean, that's what they call it. The world calls them. Okay. So number six, demonic attacks when you try to stop. Okay, you're going to get wet dreams. Okay, demonic attacks. Now, like I said, Satan only attacks those who are doing the will of God. Satan only attacks those who are trying to walk that righteous path. He's not bothering the people who aren't trying to give up their porn, not trying to give up, you know, their fleshly, you know, their sexual desires. He doesn't attack those. But once you're trying to stop watching it, you could expect wet dreams. You could expect the succubus attacks. You could expect the incubus attacks. What is the incubus? What is the succubus? It's pretty much a demon. Uh, that has sex with you in your dreams. Okay. Yes, this is real. This is a spiritual warfare. We don't battle against flesh and blood. Some people could laugh and scoff and mock. Oh, ha, ha, ha. but you know, that's what scoffers do. They're going to scoff. They're going to laugh. Um, you know, let the scoffers, let the scoffers scoff. Who cares about them? But you being a child of God, understand when you're having white dreams, sex in your dreams, that's not, that's not a God guys. That's a demon. Okay. That is a demon. And you got to understand when you had that addiction for so long, when you had that porn addiction, the longer you have an addiction, the harder it is not to say you can't be free from it, but it's going to be harder because you had, you've been attached to that demon for 10 years, 20 years. I mean, some people 30, 40 years, you know, so you've been attached to that demon for so long. So it's going to take time for you to be free from that demon. It's going to take some time, but best believe 
I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this is how you fight spiritual warfare, guys. This is how you fight against your flesh. This is how you fight against the devil. This is how you fight against this demonic matrix, this demonic world we live in, okay? It's through the word of God, okay? People love to use that verse, I could do all things with Christ, right? But when it comes to fighting against, you know, certain sins, they don't want to use that. When it comes to making money or like worldly stuff, they love to use that verse. But no, you could do all things when it comes to fighting sin, when it comes to fighting devil, fighting the devil, or, you know, fighting, you know, something that's keeping you low. Okay, always understand that demonic attacks, when you try to stop, you're going to have wet dreams. Okay, um, if you're a woman, you're going to have, you know, intercourse. It's going to be like a man having sex with you. Okay, it's going to feel real. Understand that's a demon. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And eventually, the Bible even says, submit to yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Eventually, they got to leave you alone. Okay, but understand that you could be on sea merchants for four or five months, right? You could be celibacy for five months, not even thinking about that. And you'll get a random attack. Okay, that's just spiritual warfare. Okay, so don't don't let that discourage you. Don't let that let you go back to your old ways because that's what the whole agenda is for that. Number seven is spirit spouses. You won't desire a wife or husband. I made a video about that, um, talking about ten signs you have a spiritual spouse. I'll leave it in the um, cards uh, somewhere up here. But uh, and that's true, guys. A lot of people who they don't desire a wife, they don't desire to get, they don't desire a husband, is because they're watching porn. They already have their husband. And, the, and remember, spirit spouses are just demons, guys. This is what they are. A lot of people in this society, guys, they don't desire to get married. They don't desire, especially a lot of men too. Now, of course, females too as well. But I know there's a lot of men. They don't desire to be married because they already have, you know, not only they have the fornication, the dating apps, stuff like that, but they also have. Um, you know, those, those porn that were the porn they watch, they already had, they're already married in the spiritual realm to demons. So there's no need for them to get married and in the righteous way, in a godly way. Okay. A lot of people guys always understand that when you have someone who doesn't desire and they're talking down on marriage. Okay. And they're still watching porn. They're still masturbating. They're still, you know, jumping from D to D or maybe just jumping from relationship to relationship. It's because they got spirit spouses and, and you being a child of God, you being a chosen one, you must you must avoid those type of spirits at all costs, okay? Because those type of people are just, te they're temporary. They're just temporary. It's like kind of flesh, living in the flesh. It's just temporary. This Our bodies, guys, eventually we got to die. This body got to, my body is going to turn to dust in the future. Eventually we all got to go, but it's just spirit. Look at someone for their spirit and not their flesh, not how they look. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, you desiring a woman for her beauty, but make sure her spirit matches, you know, or a man, make sure his spirit or her spirit matches outside. A lot of times, guys, a lot of times, the spirit never matches the physical beauty. It most of the times is like that. Okay, it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Okay, so always understand that a lot of people who don't do, when you have a porn addiction, guys, you won't desire to be married. You won't desire to have children. You won't desire to you know have a family because, like I said, you're already married to demons. And a lot of people, they're spiritually discerned. Okay, they don't have the wisdom. They don't have the knowledge to understand that this is one of the. Now it's not the only main reason, but this is one of the main reasons why. Now, if you don't desire a wife or a husband, it's not always a spirit spouse. It's not always a demon. Some people truly don't want to get married, which is fine. But sometimes it could be a spirit spouse with certain people, okay? Um, especially for me, from my experiences when I was like in my 20s, my early 20s, I didn't want to get married because I was already, I, I already felt, you know, in the spirit. And I didn't know this at the time, but looking back, I could see, wow, like, this is really a spiritual warfare. So, guys, after you, you made this far... Now, you're still going to battle, but you're going to think twice before you go into that website. You're going to think twice, okay? Number one, opening doors for demons. Guys, don't forget to guys to like this video, share this video on all social media platforms. We need to get this out in the algorithm. Comment below, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Number two is soul ties with the opposite gender. Okay, soul ties with, you know, I, I couldn't put porn star because I don't want to trigger anything, but you're going to have a, a soul ties with a porn star, guys. Number three is feeds of flesh, which leads to death. Number four is effeminized to the man and makes a woman masculine. Number five is opening the gates of Satan's kingdom, opening the gates of hell. Number six is demonic attacks. When you try to stop, you're going to get wet dreams. Number seven is spiritual spouses. You won't desire a wife or a husband. And, you know, the spirit spouse, guys, what is spirit spouse? Demons, okay? I hope you guys check out this end screen, too. I'll leave it on the side. And then if you guys wish to support me, my links are down below in the description. Beware of scammers in the comments. All right, I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.